For several days, this camp southwest of Roswell was home for 10 kids from all around New Mexico. Here, without cell phones or a shopping mall, they have little choice but to live, sleep, and eat wilderness. They have some really good cooks here. <laughs> While the meals are great, this camp is about getting a taste for something other than burgers. If they get out once, or we get a family or a single parent family out once, and they see it's really not that hard to go out and camp and hunt, you know, sometimes it just, that's all it takes to get them started. The kids who take part in any of the hunts organized by Big Al's Outdoors Adventures get an up-close experience loaded with the beauty and beasts of New Mexico's rural land. It's for kids whose parents are hardworking people and, and can't afford to pay $1,000, $1,500 to take their kid into a hunt. And it gives them a chance for, for a first-time hunt and it kind of thins down my youth population here. He runs the ranch that is letting the kids hunt Barbary sheep. It is a cattle ranch, but naturally, as in courtesy of nature, it has plenty of horses, mule deer, and Barbary sheep. It's a rough country to, to be back into, and the sheep like it. It's, it's great atmosphere for sheep. I'm running cattle here, and it's, it's a competition type thing, too, for me. So it, it, it keeps, keeps a pretty good balance. I don't run too many cows and try to keep my sheep herd down a little bit, too and uh, we both went at it. You know, we, we can talk management, we can talk herds, and we can talk everything, but he's, he really likes kids and he likes doing it for the kids. Alex Munoz is the founder of Big Al's Outdoors Adventures. Our main function is to acquire tags, uh, work with the landowners, uh, work with uh, Game and Fish, and try to procure some opportunities uh, for particular hunts. Munoz has a well-trained crew of volunteer guides to accompany the kids as they hunt. In many cases, this is the first hunt for the youngsters. But Ryan Morales has some experience prior to this trip out with Munoz as his guide. Well, I've killed two mule deer, an antelope, and one elk. So about two years. He would have success hunting Barbary sheep as well. We will let him give the play-by-play. -play. Well, we're driving and <clears throat> we haven't seen anything for a while and then Alex spotted them right on the cliff and then we got out and then we seen them, they ran up, they stopped at the top of the cliff and then, and then we got out, we set up, but my, my bullet jammed on the first one and then so Alex just threw that one out and then we got one in there and then I just aimed right there and then I shot and then he fell. There were congratulations all around, but even with the sheep falling on the spot, there is work left. It is a hike up the hillside to reach the sheep. And once the hunting party completes the tough climb, there's yet another opportunity for congratulations. Oh, it was a great experience. I mean, I've, I've never even done it myself. I'm just glad there's programs out there that can that these kids can do it. The young hunter credited his training and plenty of practice for the precision he demonstrated with his rifle. Well, in hunter safety, when I first learned, they taught, like they had us this picture, and then there was this like laser where you had to shoot, and on the back of it, it tells where all the vitals are, and then they just had us practicing with that. The importance of preparation and the importance of hunting safely are key messages on these hunts with youngsters. You know. When you get out here and you, you get on them and, you know, everything just, just goes and it's just instinct. So we try to make sure that uh, we keep bringing that up where you need the placement and what you need to do. So, you happy? Yeah. All right. The volunteers also share lessons with the kids on field dressing and on tricks of the trade, such as using electrical tape to create the perfect pouch for your tags. And uh, there are game laws. We did everything right, but the law says an untagged animal is, they'll, they'll take that from you. So there's nothing that's going to pull this off when anything, okay? Hauling the sheep down to the truck was hard work, and the value of hard work is yet another of the lessons included in this hunting trip. But Ryan didn't let the strain show, sporting a big smile all the way off the hill. He had set the bar high for the young hunter to follow, a point that wasn't lost on her father. That was a, a textbook 
shot that he took, um, 100 and some yards, 130 yards. So he did a you know perfect example of what she needs to do, and hopefully she'll be ready for her shot. Watching Ryan help carry his harvest off the hillside, Tiffany is willing to grant her co-hunter a measure of respect. It was a pretty good shot. But it was clear she thought she just might do better when her opportunity arrived. Are you ready? Ready, let's, let's go, go get, get her one. one.